Welcome back to another episode of History of Gaming Metal Gear. At this point in the series, you've just finished watching our gameplay of Metal Gear 1. Now this will be a bit of a weird uh, continuation of the series as this was already originally streamed and recorded, but we have lost content and we have to recreate it. So this will be as best of a uh, original recreation of Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake for the MSX as much as possible. But let's touch base on where we're at right now. This is the series that will be played as we go through History of Gaming Metal Gear. And we just finished the MSX title of Metal Gear 1. So, let's go ahead and begin talking about Metal Gear 2 with the discussion of Hideo Kojima. After the success of Metal Gear, Kojima took the victory and ran with it. He would soon begin his work on Metal Gear 2 and Solid Snake, which was raved as a massive success throughout Japan. The truth is, though, Kojima had no intention to create a sequel to Metal Gear. And before Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake was even a thought, Konami greenlit a sequel to Metal Gear called Snake's Revenge. This is a game you can find for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was done without Kojima ever being aware, in fact, and not until he met with a development team member on that game on a train ride to Tokyo did he know. Uh, the developer filled in Kojima in on Snake's Revenge and where the game kind of stood in its development and then encouraged Kojima to make a legitimate sequel to Metal Gear. Kojima started designing the story for Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake on that very train ride and in fact it was completed by the time he reached a stop. The following day, he presented the game's idea to his boss and was given approval to move forward. His only other notable works around this time is a game called Snatcher, released in 1988 and was written and directed by Hideo Kojima himself. It was a cyberpunk-themed adventure game that was heavily influenced by various sci-fi films, but mostly Blade Runner. This is a, uh, another good example of how movies drive the creation for Hideo Kojima. So what is Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake? It is a MSX2 title released in 1990 that we never get here in the United States, so the first time that you're able to actually play this game is on Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, which is a re-released version of Metal Gear Solid 3, where both Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 are stored on the disc. That will be how we'll be playing on uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, re-release for the PlayStation 3 and the HD collection. Uh, this, will, this is the easiest way to obtain this game and play it. Uh, compared to its predecessor, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake was a massive improvement and upgrade upon what was seen. This is where we see Kojima really let his creative juices flow and the more inner uh, movie director comes out of him instead of the game developer. Uh, we can see kind of action, action movie elements here in this game. Kojima did a good number of improvements planned for the game from the very earliest development stages. To name a few, he wants to expand enemy search range to beyond a single screen. Soldiers can now operate on a schedule. This is more realistic. Avoid background music to emphasize auditory senses among the enemy, such as footsteps. An ability to crawl, giving a sense of 3D gameplay. Various alert levels to the soldiers. A crafting system, combining items together in the field. AI counteracting, enemies, bosses, and other interactions within the world adapt to the player's actions. These elements of game design should be compared to other games of the time. What you can compare this to of the same year is Super Mario World, F-Zero, Mega Man 3, Final Fantasy 3, Japanese Final Fantasy 3, and Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. Uh, the most notable of these is most likely Mega Man 3 and Super Mario World. These ga this game is still phenomenal compared to those titles. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake was released, like I mentioned before, in 1990 exclusively in Japan for the MSX2. Due to this decision, Snake's Revenge was regrettably the official sequel to Metal Gear in the Western market. You may also notice some references made to Snatcher. Uh, referencing his works is a trait uh, that Kojima does quite a bit. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Metal Gear 2. 